Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for October 21st, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google developers on the set and off. Last week, millions of Canadians dreamed about hockey while celebrating Thanksgiving. Entrepreneurs globally dream about hockey stick growth when revenue takes off at an exponential rate. Alex Moore of Baden joined Don Dodge in our studio explaining how you can grow through focus user acquisition and do quite well as a company even without seeing the proverbial hockey stick. From Seattle, Frances Campoy Flores and Brian Dorsey talk about their experience with Go and why Python programmers should consider the language. Brian also talks about what surprised him, giving some thoughts and recommendations for Pythonistas interested in learning about Go. Felipe Hoffa, a regular mention here on GDL Weekly, invited Aline Mawani, the founder of Streak, to review the latest BigQuery announcements and shows the multiple ways that Streak leverages data that they stream into BigQuery. Now they can instantly analyze their app engine logs for debugging and performance analysis. Next, from our New York City office, YouTube's Jeff Posnick does more than tell you about new stuff. He takes on common issues developers face when running YouTube Analytics API reports, sharing resources to help you keep your programs and statistics running smoothly. And your websites and mobile apps have a need for speed. Our Chrome team partnered with the New York Times to help you tune up performance. Engineers from the Times, Forecast IO, and Google showed tips to bring smoother scrolling and animation, faster load times, and the app experience that both you and your users love. And if you've heard about the Wallet Object API, Mihai Ionescu is your guide to getting started. The first episode in a new series on this API displays how you can set up your Wallet Objects accounts, including both the OAuth2 service account and Wallet Objects issuer account. In our next video, the Enterprise Maps team is back with another episode of What in the World. This week talks about great ways to restructure KML data so it looks great in Google Earth. Bonus, this session also includes a brief introduction to Pi KML. Rounding out the week in our GDL studios, Baden's Alex Moore is back for a second show. Alex tells us how he found angel investors in balanced investment, revenue, user acquisition, and feature development. We also get a tip on how to make limited server capacity work for you. On the Android Developers channel, it's all fun and games from our robot overlords. Get the latest from Todd Kerpelman with Game On, while Bruno Oliveira talks achievements and leaderboards. From the land of AppScript comes news this week of a connection with Eclipse IDE. Using Google Plugin for Eclipse, you can now take advantage of Eclipse editing, autocomplete, and management features in your AppScript projects like a boss. It's also been an exciting week for developers in Argentina. The Developer Bus is a Google reality show in which startup developers work on apps live as you and the world watch. Check it out at developerbus.withgoogle.com. And to make sure that you never miss a single thing from the world of Google developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.